Hey, what's happening guys? This is Tutorials 101. Now, are you tired of waiting for super rares to respawn? This method will make your life easier than ever. It'll save you tons of time, also get you tons of gear. We will go through how you can kill so many elites within small time frame just by following a simple route and method. In WoW Dragonflight, the elites drop high item level gear and lots of rewards for killing these super rares. It makes it really worth farming these rares. Now there is something called layering, or you can say phasing. This phasing works this way. Each server has its own phase, each phase has its own spawns, which means that every phase has its own spawn timer and elites. So what I do is basically every time I kill an elite in a phase, I simply join another group via group finder to change my phase. This makes my farm overall super efficient and fast. I also specifically type rare names and there are people who have their rare alive in their face. So I just join their group and help them kill the elite and I also get the kill. So it's a win-win situation. Now, if you notice in my clips, I'm constantly killing an elite called Rosar. I'm going to make a separate video of why I'm killing this elite and why is it something that it's really worth it right now. Please stay tuned. This video will be uploaded soon. It's going to be a crazy goal maker video. Now, here I am killing Coldron Blakar. Now, the great part of doing the phasing is that every time you join a phase, there are potential spawns, potential events happening that you can join in that phase. Now, in Obsidian Citadel, every time you kill elites, they drop fragments, right? These obsidian keys unlock even more rare elites. So if you're in a phase where somebody has unlocked a, a rare or an elite, you can just jump right into it and kill that elite. I was able to kill multiple different kind of elites in Obsidian Citadel and get huge rewards. Now, you must remember that the reset on these super rares is daily. So once you kill the super rare down, I would advise to use a weak aura or some sort of tracker so you know that you've already killed that elite. When you're phasing, you're going to be killing a lot of elites and you don't want to keep killing the one that you already have killed, right? So if you want a higher item level or you want the first item that drops the super rare drop, then I advise that you kill different different elites in the area. The best part of killing elites in Dragon Isles is that there are a lot of unique rewards. You get pets, you get dragon customizations, you get toys, you get signets that you can use to get repetition in Obsidian Citadel. There are so many rewards that it makes rares farming super worth it. Now that you know this method, you don't need to wait for respawns. You don't have to be in your zone, um, wait for longer respawns. I would advise just to hop layers and find groups that already have the spawn in their phase and kill, kill the rare. You're going to get a lot of items. You're going to be able to kill more elites in less time. Um, you're going to be able to do more stuff in the game. So it's a huge time saver, right? Using the Blizzard system, it just enables you to like, you know, efficiently farm everything. Now here, while I was switching phases, I got very lucky. Um, back to back, I got events. The first one was the Dragon Bane Keep event where you have to do a scenario. In the end, you get a nice reward. I was able to get a nice, you know, uh, 379 piece from here. So it just saves me a lot of time. Like back to back, I was able to do multiple stuff and just hop layers. Now, I've stated this in my previous videos as well. Make sure you're at highest item level when you're doing this farm. The reason I say this is because there is something called item scaling. So the higher item level you have, the better loot you will get. So I typically recommend being somewhere around 360 to 375 item level so you can get 385, uh, 385 item level drops. If you just hit level 70, then please do mythic regular dungeons and then do the super rare farm. Here is the list of super rares that you can find around Dragon Isles and also their loot table and coordinates. Um, I would highly suggest downloading Vikora. I will post a link in the description for you so you can track these elites and farm them. Also make sure you note down the elites that you kill and these reset on daily basis. Now you know my method of farming so fast and efficiently. I hope this video was helpful 
And if you like this video, please don't forget to give a like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers. And if you help me reach the goal, that would be splendid. Take care of yourselves. Tutorials 101 out.